What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Makar, from Cougar's Closet, coming to you. I just left from Texas Roadhouse. I am stuffed. I had a filet mignon, six ounces, cooked medium. I had sweet potato, and I had Caesar salad with vinegar and oil. Oh, and I had an appetizer, fried pickles or ranch. That's me and my daughter's little appetizer we love. She was going to meet me, but however, she got twisted up in some. So, I went alone, but that's okay. So, I'm back now, and I am beyond stuffed, if you can tell. Look at my pants. They hanging over my britches. I am stuffed, y'all. Well, I got my candle burning, and I'm, I had me some sage. I cleared out all my negative energies in my home, so... And I put it on me, too, because I was probably part of the negative energy activity, too. And however, I do feel a little better. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Texas Row House, I had a good time. I went along. They were so nice to me. Uh, I advise anybody to go, even alone sometimes. I was, like I said, I was going with my daughter, but she ended up, um, something came up, so she wasn't able to meet me. So, however, I went alone. So, um... I got a new feature going on. I added Cash App to my um, YouTube channel to Cougar's Closet. So, therefore, if anybody would like to help um, donate on my channel, it would just be to get um, things better so I could be able to give um, accurate readings and accurate conversations and, you know... Um, have a lot of nice features going on and step my game up. But however, um, I'll keep rolling little by little. But all donation, all donations are very much appreciated. So if you would like, by chance, to donate to Cougar's Closet, you know, like for new cameras, new electronics, or anything that um, would make Cougar's Closet a better place when you come to your second home to visit, uh, donations will be appreciated. Um, just go on to my about link on Cougar's Closet and there you will find my cash app address. Thank you. So moving on to that, from that, um, I'm getting ready to do a read. I don't know who I am reading for. This is my second read. I am very, very excited about it. Even though I've been running from it all day long, trying to find other things to do. But Spirit said it's time now. And also, I'm getting a little bit better with my shuffling. I've been kind of holding the cards um, in my hand around the house and blessing my energy. And I sprinkle a little sage on them, you know, do that, do that, do that, clean them up. You know, so we're getting all the negative energies off. I don't read any bad news reading. I am a white storyteller. I am not a dark storyteller, but however, if I feel like you are in danger or in harm from anything, I will alert you and let you know. So, um, I just shuffled my cards. Now I'm going to cut them and I am going to probably do about a six to seven, um, reading spread. I'm not for sure. But it's very important that shuffling is the most, 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 most important part of your reading. So, therefore, we are working on the most important part of your reading. Yeah. So, how you guys feeling out there today? What did you do today? Drop me something below and let me know what you did today. Uh, with my day, I started off about 6, 6.30 this morning with a walk. Um... I walked, I guess, maybe about two or three miles. I like to walk on my off days because I am in my 40s, so I like to keep my body active somewhat, you know? So, anything to keep me moving, I like to do it. All right, let's get to your reading. Who am I reading for? I have no idea. We'll find out in a minute. I don't want to be a bad butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I got eight cards laid out today. I'm a bad butt today. All right, I got eight cards laid out here. Let's 
Let's get ready to tell a story. Whose story am I telling? If this is your story, let me know. Page of Wands. All right. So I have the Page of Wands here. Okay, and looking at the Page of Wands, it looks like somebody that is on a quest, that is on a mission. They are not sure about what mission that they are on, but they've been um, extended some type of branch. I don't know if that's an olive branch or what type of branch that is, but they've been extended some type of branch from the world um, that's opening up um, walls to the world to put them on a journey to go out and quest and conquer. Um, they feel confident, whoever this person is, and this could be neutral energies. I don't know who this is. Um, it could be man or woman. It could be cat or dog. I don't know who it is. But um, whoever it is, like I said, they, they've been extended an olive branch from the world to go out here. Um, they have a lot of things on their mind. And they're in search of opportunity, it looks like. Whoever this uh, person is, they are um, a very, very curious person. And it uh, looks like to me, he really doesn't know much about life, but he's ready to embark and explore. That's what it looks like to me. Page of Wands. Pulling the second card. The second card, I have the Four of Pentacles. All right. The Four of Pentacles is somebody that kind of looks majestic a little bit, I would say. Um, he comes off to me as if uh, kind of with the first reading, he's a curious person and he's inquisitive about the world, but if you look in the background, I hope you can see this good, if you look in the background, there's uh, buildings behind him, and there's um, a new world out there, kind of what I just said in the first card, that he's ready to embark upon, and he kind of has the Scarface mentality, like the world is mine. Whoever he is, he looks very confident. As you see, he has a pentacle on his head. He has a pentacle in his hands. He has a pentacle on his feet. That tells me whoever this person is, even though they don't know much about the world and what's out there, they are ready to embark on the world, and they are ready for anything that comes in the world. On a positive note, They look like to me, whoever they are, if you look at him, he has a straight face. He looks like to me that he's already made up in his mind that he's ready to accept defeat. He's ready to win. He's ready to um, accept failure. And he doesn't look at um, failure as an opportunity. He looks at failure. Um, I'm sorry, he doesn't look at failure as an enemy. He looks at failure like a friend or opportunity. Whoever he is, he's ready to embrace any things that comes his way. For some reason, I get the uh, notion he's not afraid of what's out there, even though he's ha he hasn't been out there. That was Four of Pentacles. Pulling your third card, I have King of Wands. So with the King of Wands, as you see, this is somebody that is sitting on their throne. And maybe this is somebody um, that maybe he has set out on his venture. Like I said, he's an inquisitive person or she's an inquisitive person. And um, they have already accepted, like I said in the second card, what... Um, what could go on, the journey, the defeat, whatever it is, they're ready to get out here. Well, now I have pulled the King of Wands, and the King of Wands um, represents to me that somebody maybe could be a business owner, 
or trying to become a business owner, whoever you are from this page of wands and from this four of pentacles, you are a person that likes to stand in your own power. You like to be the one to write the checks. You don't like anybody telling you what to do. Whoever this is, I'm thinking somebody has a plan to be an entrepreneur, whoever this is. It's not, I'm not, I'm not getting the, the feeling that this person um, wants to take rules from anybody. I'm not getting the feeling that this person wants to work on anybody's time clock. I am getting the feeling that uh, whatever journey you are setting out at, you've already had your mind made up, hands down, you are the queen or you are the king of your empire. You are willing to rule your own throne. You give out orders, you don't take them. So that's the third card. Now moving on to your fourth card. Uh-oh, three of swords. I sense a little bit of danger here. Not, um... Not a lot, like not like deadly danger. I got the three of swords here. For the three of swords here, I feel like uh, this person that I spoke about that's inquisitive, that uh, has accepted opportunity and defeat, um, that's really forever, whatever. This person that is the entrepreneur, whether they are the king or the queen on their throne, I feel like um, as you are embarking up on this journey here, you run into a little bit of trouble. And um, the reason why I say that you went up on a little bit of trouble is because you see this heart here with these three swords in it. It's, it's been stabbed. However, I don't get the sense that you have been stabbed by a person, although you could have. I get the feeling more that it's um, life has stabbed you with these opportunities. You run into a little bit of trouble. I don't know if that means like uh, as far as maybe it could be getting your network up to start this business. Maybe it could be um, getting situated with a place to stay. Uh, maybe it could be um, you don't know, have... Uh, the resources that you need or uh, the paperwork together or somewhere along your quest to get yourself together, you bump into a brick wall and um, it makes you feel defeated. But um, I don't believe this is going to be, this is going to last long. I just think this is one of the thunder rolls that comes with life. I think you are on a journey, and when you are on on a journey, you can expect a little bit of defeat. That's what comes with the territory. But however, um, whoever this person is, they already knew this before they set out. That's what I was talking to you about earlier. Whoever this is, they kind of already has accepted that this is a part of the process if they intend to have anything. Um if they intend to become anybody. This is a long life dream for whoever this is to fulfill uh, this this journey. I feel like whoever this is, they came from nothing, seems like. And they have left everything in behind in pursuits to go ahead on or something. So somewhere we have ran into a thunderstorm. But however, I don't feel like you're going to be down for long. That was the Three of Swords. Next card I'm pulling is the, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant, uh, and I kind of feel like I'm reading for a fire sign. kind of feel like I'm reading for um, a Sagittarius or somebody that element is fire here. And the only reason why I think that I am reading for a fire element, and it doesn't have to be, um, it's not set in stone, but the only reason why I feel like I am reading for a fire sign, because as I pull these cards, I am seeing a lot of red. So if you are a fire element, 
I think I could be pretty much reading to you. And like I said, it doesn't have to be. But I, I see a lot of uh, fire contrast, a lot of red in my reading. So fire sign, mostly I think I'm reading for. So uh, and then in this next card, I pull the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a wise person that in their mind, they have everything together. They have their ideas together. They have the way that they... Um, they want to get things together in order to to be this other person that they are trying to become. And right here, um, I think he has, along his journey, he had the heartbreak before. But I'm thinking now that he has ran up, a, a, um, ran up on some people right here. And um, he has made a few friends and he has get, gotten the chance to know people. And he's telling them about this ideal that he's embarking upon that's going to make a lot of money. That's going to be big. That's going to be huge. And whoever these people are, it looks like to me they believe him. They are totally tuned in to what he is saying. He definitely has their ear here. And if you look closer, they don't strike me as um, being um, not... Um, they, they strike me as being wealthy. Whether they are close friends that he's going to embark up on this journey with or whether they are wealthy investors that he is going to embark upon this journey on and they are willing to take their chances and invest in him. Whatever is going on here, whatever sale he is... Um, he is pitching to these two guys here, whether it be friends or investors or just whoever. It seems like to me they're willing to take a chance on him. They have his ear. They He has their ears. And also, if you at the bottom, if you look, there's a set of keys there. What what could the keys go to? Is, is it the keys to the unknown? Is it the keys to unlock the city? Is it the keys to their mind? Is it the keys to a new beginning? What is that there? A lot of red there on the floor. A lot of red there. Like I said, I got the feeling that I am reading for a fire sign tonight. Whoever this, uh, I will say this. Um, he is a confident person, and he definitely believes in himself in this pitch that he is preaching and other people are believing in him too if you look they are fully 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 tuned in to him so um i think somebody's getting ready to take a chance on him with this new business this new idea this new um entrepreneurship whatever it is um, I think these other people can see it, too, as he tells the story. I think he is rich in the mind and has the story, and they're rich in the wallet and has the finances. And I think this is a meeting of the minds right here. I think he's going to deliver what they need, and they are going to deliver what he needs. It's going to be a fair exchange. A fair exchange has never been a robbery. I think something good is going to come out of here. That is one, two, three, four, five. That is the fifth card I pulled. Who am I reading for? Who am I reading for? Yep, now I pulled the magician. I just really feel like I am reading for a fire sign tonight. I really do. The magician. So, the magician is a very wise person. And the magist the magician is very majestic. And the majestic uh the magician has a lot of power in the supernatural world. And um it looks like to me, uh like I spoke before about, you know, um, you know, setting out on this journey, uh, getting people to believe in you, you believing in yourself, you knowing that the world is yours, you running into heartbreak, then you finding investors. It looks like to me that you succumb and surpass all those things, heartbreak and pain. And it looks like to me that um, you were able, and remember I told you I didn't think this was going to last long. 
um, looks like to me you found where you want to be at. I believe those people invested in you or if those were business partners and you all put your money in. Looks like to me you have found the key, the key that was on the floor in the last card. Looks like to me the doors have opened for you. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at this magi magician, um, he is in the background. There's all these flowers and roses and leaves. Well, that uh, tells me that you are at peace at yourself with yourself. And not only that, it's very, very lit up in the background, if you can see. And also, um, you have your hand to the air like you are giving thanks to the higher gods, to the higher God, to God, to the universe, like you are giving the glory to somebody. It looks like to me you made it over. It was a job well done. That's what that's what I'm getting right here. So whoever this is uh this reading is for, I believe that you have conquered um, everything that you set out for or not, the doors are starting to open for you and you are starting to um, reap the fruits of your labor. You are starting to see um, what you've been working for, what you have tried for, what you have been uh, turned away for, what you have been depressed for. You know, what gave you heartache and pain. It looks like to me you kept pushing and you kept pushing and you kept pushing and you kept pushing. And not only that, you believed in yourself. So now, looks like everything is pretty much a go to me. The magician is somebody that um, carries a bag that's full of many tricks. And maybe you just needed a little gas and... Uh, the, the people along the way helped you with that. But not only that, you mostly believed in yourself. So congratulations to you. And if this doesn't, if this hasn't happened to you, it's about to happen to you. A lot of times things happen two weeks before, two weeks after, or there can be, excuse me, things that happen, you know, like, uh, a couple of years or a year, maybe short term, long term. I don't know like exactly who I'm reading for, but whoever I am reading for, you have made it over. And if, like I said, if it hasn't hit, it's about to. Thank me when it does. All right. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Like I said, y'all, I'm reading for a fire sign. It doesn't have to be that I'm pulling an awful lot of red. I, I got a feeling this is a fire sign here that I am reading for. So, with the Six of Pentacles, it looks like to me, oh, and I could as well be reading for Libra. And the reason why I say that, you see that scale? The scale reps, represents a Libra. And a Libra represents um, peace and justice, um, humanity. Um, a, a Libra is very a pretty good person. On the flip side of it, you don't want to flip a Libra off because just as much as their scales are balanced, they also can become unbalanced as well if you um, make them flip off. But um, getting back to this card that I have pulled. It looks like you are now in the driver's seat and you are um, driving towards entrepreneurship and you are actually stirring the boat. You are the captain of the sea, if you will. And along your journey, um, the I'm going to describe to you what this card represents to me, the Six of Pentacles. Um, it wasn't easy for you to get here. It's always been rough for you. And the people, if, if you look around, there's people um, that looks like to me, I don't want to use the word begging, but I'm going to say that they are in need. And um, I could be reading for a Libra as well. A Libra, maybe you are a Libra mixed with a Sagittarius on the cusp or something. Straight out Libra, straight out Sagittarius, straight out fire sign element, whichever the uh, fire signs are, you are pretty much, looks like to me, one of those. 
Well, the, the type of person that you are, you are wealthy at this point. And you see people that are in need. And these people that are in need, they don't know that you come from the same walk of life that they came from. And you are more than more than happy to help because you were once this person and you were once that person needing help. The, the difference between these people and you is that they lost their aspirations and they lost their dreams a long time ago. But for some reason, you kept on pushing into this wealthy man. And, and this this red cloak that you have on, uh, you are a fire element and it, it represents passion to me. You are the type of entrepreneur like you are not... Um, excited about glitz and glam because um you didn't get it from a silver spoon you were you weren't born with it everything that you have you you crawled to get it you walked to get it you jogged to get it and, and until you finally jumped on the bull and roped the horse and now you have it so you have a passion and a heart for people that um that's in need that are homeless or that are hungry or that are um that that that's not well off like you like you were um that that's what drives your passion nobody knows your past and you don't strike me as a person that talks about your past but you have a passionate heart and it's like people look at you because they don't understand a wealthy person like you, a man or woman, why do you turn around and look at these people and pay these people so much attention? You pay more attention to these people than you do a celebrity that's walking out of Hollywood coming to patronage your business. You see these guys before you see a rich person. But um, your secret is that lies dormant with you is they don't know just a few years ago, you were this person. So you like to give back in a majestic a way, um, a, a, a majestic way. Um, you, you, you like to um, acknowledge people that's less off because there, there was a time in your life that you were le less off. So... Like I said, I got a feeling I'm reading for a Sagittarius or a Libra here, a fire sign. I keep saying Sagittarius, but that's only because I'm not really, really for sure what all the, the who all the fire signs is. I don't know if that's Scorpio and Aries, but if you represent a fire sign, I'm, I'm most definitely talking to you. And I could be talking to a Libra. Like I said, it's either a Sagittarius mixed with a Libra. Straight Libra, Libra on the cusp, but it's peace mixed with fire that I'm speaking to here. Last card of the deck, I pulled the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is someone here who has made it to the top. They are sitting on top of their crown. They are sitting on top of their throne. They rule the world. And as you can see, he has his arms crossed. He is complete. He is satisfied within his well-being, his human, uh, uh, his men, human material. I can't say that word, but like for man, like he is very satisfied. Um, he feels like he has conquered everything. Now, I don't want to say like he feels like he has conquered everything, like he's a Mr. Know-it-all or she's a Mrs. Know-it-all or he's all that. I just want to say like conquered everything as far as um, sense, self, well-knowing, um, physical, uh, a job, a, a placement in the world, um, well-being, um, complete with self, a considered whole now. So whoever I'm reading for, um, the cards are laid out right now. Um, everything was in sync with one another. 
you had a couple of rainy days or whatever, which you already knew that once you first um, started to embark on your journey, you already knew that. So uh, you went through that, which you said you would in the beginning. Uh, when you got that, that three of swords, you was hit pretty hard with defeat. Um, you, there were days you felt like giving up. There were days you felt like turning around. Few days that you didn't believe in yourself, but not a lot. Just a few. I think um, it wasn't even so much that you didn't believe in yourself. I think it was more of running up on the right person at the right time or being somewhere to talk to somebody or networking. I think those were the things that had got in your way but overall looks like to me you are if you haven't already you could have already had this breakthrough um or you could be getting ready to have this breakthrough i don't know it could be or you are getting ready to embark upon but whatever um the world is about to open up to you. It's not gonna be long if it hasn't. It might have. You might have just crossed over the threshold. I'm gonna pull a couple of more cards only because spirit is telling me to tonight. I might pull about two or three and uh, see what what else I have. If there's anything that spirit wants you to know. Knight of Cups. All right, so. Knight of Cups. I have somebody rolling in on their horse. And as you can see, he is um, he has his cups full, which means that he is open. He is open for anything to be poured, anything positive to be poured in his cup. Um, this strikes me as a person that um, even though he has fulfilled his journey and he has um, stumbled up on his quest, he is still thirsty for knowledge. He still has his cup out and he is still taking a ride. He's still, um, you know, inquisitive about the land. He's still roaming around. This strikes me as a person that, um, that wants to advance in different areas, wherever you are, as far as this business owner, this businessman, this businesswoman, looks like to me, uh, you have your cup open, looks like to me that you want to open up streams of different types of uh, income. So that was your journey just to get there to the place that you were going to, to uh, manifest and get your feet off the ground. Well, once you get there, you find out that there's a lot of more money to make and that you could put other workers that you hired in a higher position because you are getting ready to embark on something else. And the only reason why I say that is because you are still journeying the land and your cup is still open. Uh, there's not a lid on the cup. Um, the horse doesn't seem parked to me. This is somebody that is on the course for knowledge and they want more money. So, um, I could be talking to somebody that could be getting ready to become a secret millionaire or a secret billionaire or something, or, or just uh, very, very wealthy that has, you know, four or five different streams of income. And I mean, like, all of the businesses are doing very well. If I am speaking to you, please let me know. I am going to pull one more car for you and this will be the final car for you tonight I believe I'm reading for a fire sign and a Libra Libra is what an air sign I could be reading for other air signs as well but I just got a feeling I, that scale stands out to me the most All right, the last card I pull tonight is the hangman. 
And the hanged man to me represents where people, some people take this as a good card. Some people take it as a as a bad card because like the hanged man could come off as a, 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 a win or draw, draw or lose type of thing. Or um, it could come off as like uh, you've been cut off and there's nowhere to go. But I don't see that as the hangman. I think in this car reading, because everything has been so positive on my layout, I believe the hangman means that you're hanged with life. Like everything, um, it, it, you have conquered everything as far as the levels that you want to get on. And you have accepted defeat and you have accepted, you know, um, anything bad or anything good that comes your way. And I think that you are hanged as far as becoming one with yourself, you know, uh, the past and the future of this person meet up and that's the hangman. I don't sense anything bad about this card being a hangman. If I did, I would tell you, I don't think it's that type of hangman. I, I believe the hangman rep represents a completion of a person, um, future, past, and going into the present. I think that you are all caught up with yourself. Uh, one, the, the, the past person is not chasing the future person. The future person is not just, tr is not trying to go back to the past. I think, uh, the two of you are, um, have showed up in the same place at the same time and you are the same person. You are a hangman and I believe everything else good is about to happen. So that concludes my reading for tonight. If you liked my reading, please like, please share, please subscribe. If you feel like I was talking to you, let me know. My readings are timeless. You can go back and always look at these readings. And um, there's no uh, certain time stamp on... Um, you know, when this will happen, it could happen, like I said, two weeks before. It could happen two weeks after. Um, dealing with these type of things, sometimes it might, may take a little time, depending on where you are in your journey. Depends on who you are. But it looks like, to me, all lights are green. And it is about to happen for someone if it didn't. If you like my reading, please like, please share, please subscribe. Thank you, Cougar's Closet. Mwah.